Welcome. So I saw a couple of stories in the news today and uh, one of them actually reminded me when I was about, I don't know, 16, 17 years old, a very young man. And I was living in an apartment block. I think it was 12 stories and I was living on the third floor. And it was early morning and I was having my breakfast, looking out the window, you know, at the view. Then something real big went by the window, the, I heard a bit of a whimper. And then I heard a quite a heavy bang on the ground. I couldn't see from my balcony or anything, so, uh, but the police and the ambulance arrived really quickly. I found out afterwards that it was um, a 17-year-old uh, female, and she was living on the seventh floor with her mother, just her and her mother. They weren't getting on very well, and she got out onto the balcony and got over the outside of the balcony, trying to get her mother's attention, and apparently she slipped. She had no intentions of actually jumping. She just wanted to get her mother's attention. And of course she fell and hit the railings below and she didn't live very long. A very sort of tragic event, really. When somebody loses their life, it's always tragic, especially when they're very young at 17 years old. So in the news uh, in Florida in a Holiday uh, Inn hotel, a very young couple was staying on the sixth floor, um, nine, 19 years old, male and female, boyfriend and girlfriend. And apparently there was loud yelling going on in their apartment and um, where they were staying. And eventually uh, the people saw the female hanging outside on the balcony and the boyfriend was pulling her back off the balcony. And uh, they eventually called security. security went up there and it all went quiet and then the female went out onto the balcony again and berated the people below for calling security and she was hanging off the balcony again and then I guess the boyfriend was trying to pull her back or whatever and anyway eventually she took a running start and dove off the balcony of the sixth floor and unfortunately died and because of what happened and the witnesses and everything, it was deemed to be a suicide and there was no foul play, say, from the boyfriend. And there was also a video camera footage or camera footage in the hotel that actually supported the facts. I mean, that's a very tragic story. You don't know whether they may have been on drugs or alcohol or something or whatever. But let's assume that there's no camera footage to have. There was no real witnesses. All they heard was yelling and screaming and uh, no security security was called and the same thing happened. Guess who would be in the frame and have to answer some very serious questions and that would be the boyfriend. And he could end up being in a hell of a lot of trouble for no fault of his own because he's a male. Because what I've noticed that when a female dies, especially a young female, they look for the closest male around to blame. In other words, he's guilty unless he proves himself innocent. Luckily for him, this was found out to be a suicide and the female purposely dove off the balcony. It's almost as if a male in society nowadays has to wear a body cam all the time to protect himself. The fact is, is that females will lie and they do crazy things. So here's another story. It's about three young females who basically took all their clothes off and became nude at a rest stop and they apparently said they were air drying. So that when policemen arrived, they jumped in their car and took off. Like how many people just take all their clothes off at a rest stop and stand outside? So anyway, they got him at a store or something. The car stopped, so the policeman went over and apparently he was attacked with a baseball bat and they took off again. The car was finally stopped by spike strips and the women all put their arms together and refused to get out of the car, so they had to be tasered. But they were eventually arrested. This is how young women should act, should behave. Looks to me like maybe they were members of a gang or some sort, could be. But these are supposed to be our future mothers of our children. Is this really the right way to act? Unfortunately, this is the future of the females nowadays. And these females will probably expect to not get charged with anything because they're females. Or if they do get charged, it'd be a slap on the wrist. Anyway, that's just my beef for today. I'll put the links to these news stories in the uh, comments below. Let me know what you think about this uh, female situation. Catch you on the fly. Okay. Do you want to play rough? Okay. No. Say hello to my little friend. Ah! <laughs>